information from school administrators. Our school, admi our, uh, school administrators had told our school resource officer that there was an employee on campus who was soliciting uh, photographs and videos from juvenile males on campus. Uh, we quickly dove into this investigation. We got our heat detectives involved, human exploitation and trafficking detectives. They quickly dove into the investigation and we were able to um, determine that there was a, a teacher who was involved. His name is Patrick Batillo and he was soliciting teenage males for photographs and images in exchange for money. Uh, this is extremely disturbing and disgusting. Uh, Patrick is a teacher, uh, he's a volunteer for the school, and he's also the head basketball boys coach, uh, you know, who our children spend a lot of time with, you know, practices, games, just knowing that he's in this position of trust and being there with these children and then for us to find this information out. Also during the course of the investigation, it was uh, found that there was another teacher who works for Peoria High School that was also involved. Her name is Holly Hallgate. And during the course of the investigation, she uh, ended up telling Patrick about us being involved with the investigation while our detectives were at the school doing interviews, uh, allowing Patrick to leave the school and get off campus before our detectives were able to talk to him. Again, both of them are in uh, highly trusted positions. And again, they work volunteer for the school and one is a teacher head basketball coach for him to be doing this stuff with children is just absolutely horrible kind of a high profile guy can you get into any other his uh, background yeah uh that, you know he's the uh he's the head head high school basketball coach for Peoria High School. Um, you know, being a sports fan, I do know that he is affiliated with, with other sports in Arizona, but we're gonna primarily focus on him being a high school boys basketball coach, and then also a volunteer for Peoria High School. He does a lot of speaking, a lot of other schools that he's not employed by, are you concerned about other? You know, that's directors? information that uh, our detectives are looking into, and again, this is still an active and early investigation we just took them into custody yesterday. Our detectives are still looking through evidence, still serving search warrants and doing the full investigation that's needed. Can you talk about how many victims you've been able to identify and then do you expect there to be more? And if so, where should those victims reach out to you? Sure, yeah. Um, you know, our, our, our detectives are still obviously looking into everything with this being such an active investigation. We did have one victim come forward uh, and disclose information to us and we're still, you know, determining if there's gonna be more victims involved. If there are, and to get a hold of the Peoria Police Department, you guys are more than welcome to call our uh, tip line at 623-773-7045, or you can also contact Detective Kerner at 623-773-8874. All of those numbers and other ways to get associated with us will be located on our social media platforms. Do you have a message for families, you know, to talk to their kids when they come home tonight and they find out, hey, two of your teachers got arrested? Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is this is this is disturbing. You know, this is these are individuals that we trust to spend hours on at a day at school, and and for this to come out, it's 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 sad. It's heartbreaking. Myself being a parent, um, I mean, this this really hits close to home, especially here in Peoria, Peoria High School. Uh, we don't ever want this to happen here, and it's unfortunate that it did. Can you just kind of go through that again, just so we can get another spill of your? Yeah, have, do you want me to just... Yeah, from the top. Okay. We were talking about the talk to parents and talk to school officials. Oh, okay. That same, you want that same question? Yeah, just the same, yeah, everything. Yeah, so, you know, we, th this is important to us. You know, obviously it, it, hits, it hits close to home, Peoria High School. Uh, we want parents to talk to their kids. We, we, we send our kids to school all the time and we want them to be safe. They're spending hours a day with these teachers who are in positions of trust. We're, we're trusting them to be with them. And when this stuff comes out, these horrible acts and, you know, soliciting kids for photographs and for videos, it's absolutely disgusting and shouldn't, shouldn't be out there. Do you know what apps he was using to connect with the students or the, the, the alleged victims? It's, so it's still under investigation. Our detectives are still doing search warrants and looking into all of that. Just talk about this heat detective that you have. What, what, what's their... Yeah, so our, our heat detectives, uh, Peoria heat detectives, 
human exploitation and trafficking. We uh, have two detectives that are currently assigned to the case right now, and they primarily are looking at prostitution, trafficking, and working with our special victims unit to uh, take care of all of these uh, predators and get them off the street and have justice served. No, just, just know that uh, for further updates, for further follow-up, we're going to end up, I'll send it to, the, to your guys' desks, um, and uh, if you guys need anything further, please just send it to the police PIO email. You said he, he left the, the campus. Yes, he, he did. To, yeah, he so, was taken into custody? Absolutely. So he did. He left the campus um, from Holly. Holly was able to give him some information, and that kind of sprung him to leave the campus. We were able to identify and locate him later in Goodyear where a traffic stop was completed on him by our detectives and they took him into custody without incident. And Holly was arrested at the school? Yes, Holly was arrested on school campus. Uh, maybe the last thing, just talk about uh, Peoria High School and the teachers. There are a lot of good teachers there for the black eye like this, just to, you know, so they're not yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, we, we love our teachers in the city of Peoria, the Peoria community. We have some excellent teachers with Peoria Unified School District uh, and throughout the entire state, if not nation. Uh, our, our teachers are important to us. They help train our kids to become successful leaders. And, you know, unfortunately, these two individuals are, are not two of those uh, trusted employees that we can really count on. And yes. That's it, Cole. Yeah. Well, a lot of times uh, um, these kind of things lead to other uh, arrests. Yes. I mean, you think, I mean, I check, check. Get, put that information back out there again about uh, who to contact if you think you. Absolutely. So we're going I'll, to, I'll put a couple phone numbers out there, but it's also going to be located on our social media platforms. If you have any tips or any information related to this case, we are requesting that you call 623-773-7045. Also, you can contact the case detective. The case detective is Detective Kerner at 623-773-8874. Again, they're working tirelessly. They worked all night last night, and, and they want what's, what needs to be done. I'm sorry if you already spoke to this. I was, um, did, <clears throat> do you have like a time frame of how long he had been, he had been collecting or he had been doing this? So we're, we're, we're still trying to uncover and look at all of the pieces of evidence that were recovered. And so we, we don't have a narrowed specific time frame that all of this took place. Uh, but once, once that becomes available, I'll let you know. Thanks. All right. Appreciate you guys.